Yeah, it's still Saturday, May the 1st. Got the trailer situated underneath the lean-to so it's out of the weather. Got the uh, leveling jacks on the back on a concrete block. Parked on gravel. We made this little uh, framework, real simple. Not very good gravel, it kind of walks on you, but it'll work. Blue painter tape. Let me walk closer. I've got to get uh, insect screens for the refrigerator vents two times. The heater on the other side is a hot water heater, but I can measure it. So just took off the uh, louvers that I need to screen. I'll take those with me to the RV dealership. It's a 70 mile round trip. Don't want to get the wrong parts. This painter tape will come off and not hurt anything. Cleaned up real nice. Jerd had a good idea. We ought to put gutters up here on the lean-to and at least that side of the barn. Keep the water from splashing up onto the trailer. It is a good idea. It's gonna be here for a while. Of course, we've got this deck and we set up so the trailers come up you can step out the door onto the deck, watch your step. <clears throat> the other one, we try to get within two inches of these posts. Uh, it can be just kind of a pain in the behind. I'm just gonna screw it. And just remember there's a hell of a gap if you miss the deck. Got the AC running. It cleaned up good. Yeah, I think it did. I did a lot of scrubbing on it. And the uh, insect covers about all that it needs. Here on the front, it doesn't have installed jacks. But uh, it came with these little pyramid jacks, which do just fine. Got it locked up 10 ways from Sunday. Hitch lock, then the locking pin lock on the hitch. Again, now if somebody's going to steal it, they're going to steal it. At least don't make it inconvenient. We're uh, pretty level front to back. It was pouring down rain. I was trying to level this thing. I'm within the lines left to right. I'll fine tune it. Uh, book says if you're in half a bubble, it won't hurt the refrigerator. The refrigerator is the main thing. On these absorption type refrigerators, they need to be level when they're operating or you'll run the refrigerator that's kind of important i think the book says half a bubble but i'll look got an rv plug installed over there and just run the cord from the travel trailer to the rv plug real convenient again we had a trailer sitting here before and once it dried i can some see where I missed a few spots when I was washing. Ain't no big deal. Yeah, I missed more than a few, it looks like. But again, ain't no big deal. That's your hot water heater. I gotta get an inset screen for that cover there. Uh, over there in the open, the TV antenna works good. Over here under this metal lean-to, and by this metal barn, it don't work worth a flip. I didn't think it would, but we tried it. And uh, it's uh, too much metal. So, I've got a, a high antenna on the other side of the barn. And we've got a, a TV connection over here, the cable. Could be. I simply run a splitter off that antenna run a cable across the inside of the barn, come through the wall, drop down here. You got TV there. But, let me show you what we got. Of course, in the summertime, this barn is hot as hell. Not too bad today. TV, little apartment-sized refrigerator, 
full size range, a couple of rocker recliners. Three seasons is decent, but I'm telling you, in August, it does get a little warm in here. So, anyway, we're going to clean up our mess and uh, head towards the house. Relax again, deal tomorrow. Thank you.